Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to look at three 9mm sub guns. I've got the X-Star EP9 Gen 2. We'll start with this one. This has an MSRP of 449. A lot of people swear by it. They say that firearm does everything I needed to do for a lower cost and they're not wrong. This is a Gen 2 model. It has a very cool M-Lock handguard and a flash can. Also the grip, they're using B5 Systems grip and B5 Systems has become extremely popular. I'm seeing that on more and more new releases. Some of the features, AR positioned controls. It has a side charger right there, a rail that goes all the way up top, and it uses Glock mags. Now, x is making their own 18 round Glock pattern magazines. So that's pretty cool. And uh, they will ship those with the Gen 2, EP9 Gen 2 models. It came with a brace, I took the brace off. I'll be cheeking it like this, which is pretty common for me because I had firearms like this before the brace was even invented. So I'm really not too concerned. Although I don't like it, I'm not too concerned. Has the rail all the way up top. I've got a red dot on there, it's called a Vortex Spark AR. Very nice red dot. Flash can, all right which is also a EP9 Gen 2 feature. But let's go ahead and take a few shots. There we go. Last shot, bolt hold back. Nice. X-Star now has a 45 model and I'm hoping to have that to feature on this channel rather shortly. Next we have a new release from Bursa called the Bar 9. Bursa is making this in two formats with a 4 inch barrel which is what this is and an 8 inch barrel. The 4 inch barrel has a compensator on there. You can see six compensators there made by KAW Valley Precision and so it gives the the look of a eight inch barrel but it's not. It's a four inch barrel. It connects right there. It also has an M-Lock handguard. This is made of aluminum as well as the lower receiver. AR positioned controls also takes Glock mags. You can get this in two separate ways with Glock mags or with Bursa TPR mags. The MSRP on this is $870, but it's selling for around $670, which is quite a difference for a new release. Typically, it sells right around the MSRP. It has this pad here that gives a little better feeling, especially on a cold day like today, on the cheek. has a grip right there, and overall, a great firearm for burst, so I really like it. And the, the fact that it has that compensator cuts down on the recoil quite a bit. Nice overall package. Happy Bursa did this. The optic that I have is a Bushnell First Strike 2.0. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here. See if I can hit anything. And the bolt does not lock back with the last shot. But that's okay. There it is. Bursa Bar 9. They have a whole Bar 9 series. Everything from 9mm to 5.56 rifles and a 5.56 pistol. And I think I mentioned two versions of the Bar 9. And here we have the Ruger PC Charger. The overall length without a brace is 16 and a half inches. Very small. MSRP $899 and you say well that's a lot more expensive than the other two and that's true However, if you compare this with a Streebog or a Scorpion, you will see that it is much less than those models Ambidextrous controls the charger currently is on the right side. You can see I can put it over to the left side There's a slot right there. I can move it just by screwing it off putting it on. It's a takedown model which means it's very simple to take off the forehand I'm not going to do that here but it's it's really simple you just lock the bolt back and uh, hit this lever and twist it off this also has an M-lock handguard 
a six and a half inch barrel with this model. The rail up top and the optic is a little funny looking. And that's because it's a Sightmark Volta. And it is solar powered. I didn't even have to put it on. Right when you're outdoors, it goes on instantly, which is very cool. Has a rail on the back. I had a brace on there. I took it off, but a very short, and I'm not going to say lightweight because it's all, all steel, but a very short firearm in 9mm that also takes Glock mags. Now, I had to put the, the Glock adapter in there. Some take the Security 9 mags. Well, it comes shipped with the Security 9 adapter in there. You put the Glock adapter in there, it takes Glock mags. So all three of these take Glock mags. Nice aluminum hand stop right there. And that's certainly a good thing. And a threaded barrel. Let's take a few shots with this beauty. It also has a cross bolt safety that I currently have engaged and now disengaged. And that's it, and the bolt does lock back. I love this PC charger. I think it's super cool. I, I actually enjoy the Sightmark Volta. It's, it's actually a pretty cool red dot, and as long as I have had it, it has been reliable and has held zero. Nice overall firearm. So that was the purpose of this video, to feature three 9mm sub guns. I'm not actually going to compare them, but I suppose I kind of did with the review. I'm really interested in knowing if you love this X-Star EP9 Gen 2 the most, or the newer Bursa Bar 9. I didn't mention that the overall length on this is 21 and a half inches, so the X-Star goes about three inches longer. I'd say equivalent weight, maybe a little bit lighter with the X-Star. And then, of course, we have the Ruger PC Charger. Each one of these hold a special place in my heart. They have all performed great. I love the optics I have on them, and I like the way each one of them fires. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.